Hello, you beautiful party people. This video is going to help you get ready for DEF CON 32. Let's jump on in. Hi, my name is Gatorbyte. I've been going to DEF CON for a few years, as you can tell from the badges in the background. If you've never gone to DEF CON before, you're looking for suggestions on where to stay, how to get to and from the location, I'm going to give you my tips and tricks from going for many, many years. This year, we're going to the Las Vegas Convention Center, which is a lot larger than what we've gone through and used in the past. The negative, though, is it's not connected to a hotel. So, the cool thing is that you can actually stay at a cheaper hotel fairly easily this time, and you're either going to need to take an Uber, car share ride, or you could also take the Metro to get to the Las Vegas Convention Center. One of my favorite places to stay, if you have time to go into Vegas earlier, is go attend Las Vegas B-Sides before DEF CON. It's at the Tuscany. The rooms are very large, like a suite. I've been able to go through and host an entire hackerspace meeting there, which is great. Go through, get yourself a room there. In the past, you could also get tickets to attend B-Sides by doing it. It's like 80 bucks a night during the work week, and then on the weekends, it's like 189. No resort fees, free Wi-Fi, free parking. Definitely worthwhile. So, if you're going through and doing that, it's a few block walk from the Tuscany over to the convention center, or you can drive. When we are looking at how much parking is going to cost at the convention center, it looks like it's like $15 a day, which is not the most expensive, but it's still going to cost you a penny. With that, there are other folks that you can actually go through and get a hotel discount room from DEF CON. There's a few different hotel sites. I'll make sure to leave a link in the show notes on where to go through and find those. And I'm interested to see for those of you who are watching this, is this your first DEF CON that you're attending? If not, how many DEF CONs have you attended? Put a comment in the links below. My suggestions, both this year and in the past, is to go get involved. The talks are amazing, they are recorded. You're there to go network with people and or do something that you can only do while you're there live at the conference. So, talking with folks, interacting with contests, getting in hands-on with different workshops, or pick one or two talks that you're going to go to that can affect your job literally next week, and go to those so you can find out something new. That's one of the biggest takeaways from DEF CON, is that everybody is there wanting to learn something new and wanting to teach. If you're curious about something, ask, hey, I'm new, I would like to learn X, and there's going to be people jumping in to help you. If you want to get more involved, you can actually volunteer. There are always people looking for help in villages and contests and such, and sometimes that's an easy way for you to be able to give back to the community. And everybody's dealing with imposter syndrome. I didn't go to DEF CON for years, and I stunted my growth because of it. Jump in today. Come join us. Because the sooner that you come join the community, the sooner you get to learn, and the sooner we get to learn from you, which is the important part. Everybody has a unique view, everybody comes from a different background, and if you get able to help one person understand something in a different way than anybody else can, you've helped add back to the community. So, do a like, a subscribe, and I want to see you at DEF CON. Go check out Silk's channel, uh, he's got the Hacker Hangouts that we've gone through and been guests on in the past, go check out our Darknet NG contest. You can go actually play some of the contests year-round right now, and we'll see you at DEF CON.